This is the threshold between your world and the realm of Meliora. If you are willing, a heroic adventure and shining victories await beyond this door. I hope that you are ready to take magic into your hands. Allow me to finally introduce myself. I am Aurelius, time traveler and master spellcaster. I would bow if I could. This is a pocket dimension. Whatever you do here has no impact on the world outside. Don't panic, you can leave whenever you want, but I'd appreciate a moment of your time. Get your teleportation spell ready. Any respectable wizard can safely teleport without seeing exactly where they are going. Touch this glyph, and I will show you a base. It's one thing to cast a spell, quite another to hit a target. Try with those crystals. That was acceptable. Let's move on. Teleport to the next platform when you're ready. You can also teleport to any flat surface you can see. And don't get lazy. Use your legs, too. Go on, break some stuff. I hear it's fun. But remember to look up, the platforms allow you to reach higher ground when you're stuck. Another spell you will need is the Arcane Shield. It will deflect melee and ranged attacks. Give it a spin. Cast Fireball now. Now, 
Let's get rid of these goblins and move on. Cross this barrier, whether by magic or on foot. It will disappear when no more targets are around. Try to teleport again. Now I'm going to show you a more powerful spell, the Frostbow. I believe you'll find it quite useful. The bow dissipates after a few shots. Ice, as you know, is not the most flexible material. Take as long as you need to practice, but remember, we have times and places to be. You are now in the Sanctum. Step inside and make yourself at home. It was built by another wizard a long time ago. You should fit right in. Before you is a map of Meliora. The figurines represent the locations you will travel to. Pick one up and place it in the large slot. To the left of the map is my collection of fate cards. They give you the chance to revisit your battles in makeshift alternate universes, where some details are different from the history you know. They don't really affect our time stream, but whatever you gain and learn there stays with you. If you want to play with fate cards, choose a region, then the cards you want to use, and then the stage you'd like to revisit. Some cards are mutually exclusive and therefore can't be used at the same time. Now take the segment with gems on it. It will take you to the time and place of battle. Place it in the slot closer to you. What makes this realm special are these rifts. These openings lead into strange dimensions and allow raw magical energy to flow into our world. Do forgive me the lecture, and please carry on if I'm boring you, but I personally find the topic fascinating.
Only a true wizard can summon such energy by themselves. But many Meliorans specialize in using rift magic to create some incredibly useful enchanted objects. A blade only wounding the wielder's opponent is but the beginning of what can be achieved. Now, enter the goblins. Cunning, greedy, and ornery on the best of days. They have craved our weapons for ages, but the mere thought of paying fairly is repulsive to them. In the end, they always resort to force to obtain what they want. Their army of orcs has snuck into Meliora. Should they succeed, the invaders will easily overpower the realm and its guardians. It would be really nice of you to defeat them, otherwise the future will turn rather ugly very fast. You may not feel like you have big stakes in it, but I do find myself dreading the return of the grim reality I have worked hard to avert.